Now we're going to stay with the royal theme because the Duchess of Cambridge, of course, she's due to have her first baby any day now. But actually, we've been asking the very same questions we've been asking for, well, more than a week now. When's the baby due? Is it going to be a boy or a girl? What are the royal couple going to name their firstborn? Let's speak to our news reporter, Anne-Marie Tomczak. So I, I promise you, every morning I wake up and I pick the tablet that's there next to my bed and I go to the BBC News website because I'm waiting to see, has she gone to the hospital? You're not the only Have one, Have got the due wrong? I think there's just so much speculation about the due date and the truth of the matter is none of us know. Now originally it was reported that the due date was the 13th of July but the palace never specifically stated that date. They did say the mid-July, mid Kate and William said mid-July earlier this year. Um, then this week, earlier this week, um, we heard from one of the British newspapers, it said the 19th of July was in fact the due date. But there are also reports that Kate's mother, Carol, told a friend that the baby was going to be a Leo, which would indicate that it's going to be the 22nd of July or sometime after that. So as I said, we don't know the answer to these questions, but it definitely doesn't stop us from speculating. OK, I thought when you said Leo there, that meant that I was, that was going to be the boy's name. We don't know if it's <laughs> going to be a boy or a girl. Apparently they don't know themselves. But what about names? Because for some strange reason, people are betting on the name as if they've got any idea. Yes, huge, um, huge numbers betting on the name and the bookies are the real winners in this instance. Alexandra is still the favourite name for a girl. Um, the Irish bookmaker Paddy Power has that as a favourite with odds of 7 to 4. Other names for a girl include Elizabeth, Victoria, Charlotte, quite traditional names. And for a boy, the likes of J uh, James or George, they're very popular as well. But there are a lot of other names um, that are a little bit more out there that are getting uh, slimmer odds like Barack or Pocahontas or <laughs> hashtag. Right, OK, 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 OK. That, that, that's not serious. That's not, we what definitely know it's not going to be called exactly. It's definitely not going to be called Adnan, that's for sure. If she is late, I, I, I think, I'm trying to remember from the birth of my two daughters, that they would induce after 10 days. I think that's the, the British, uh, pretty much the directive or the idea that doctors have here. But what are the more natural ways to get a baby out? Well, I mean, we don't need to give her advice, but... Yes, well, there on. are lots yeah. of people making suggestions about various ways that you can entice the baby to come. And um, one of those is uh, have a curry. So lots of women uh, <laughs> testify to this. You know, they will, they will swear by it, having a curry can um, bring on contractions. Another one is blowing up balloons, which I was quite surprised at, but actually when you think about it, blowing up balloons, you're using your abdominal muscles, <laughs> so you're, get, you're getting the muscles going in that area. And then another one, taking a brisk walk, so you know, a little bit of exercise always helps. Too. Right, okay, so w when William and Kate were married, we had a lot of tourists coming over. You know, I, we seem to believe that the royal family does bring tourism to the country. Will the baby boost the UK economy like the Olympics? I think it will and already a lot of the businesses are cashing in on merchandise and memorabilia for the event. Um, it's anticipated that the birth of the baby will boost the British economy by between 200 and 400 million dollars. So there's huge amounts of money. But then other um, retailers in the UK are also looking at um, releasing special collections of baby clothes and baby toys for the royal birth. But they're holding off until the day the baby is born in order to put it on the market. Have you been to the hospital where uh, it, it's a private wing of St Mary's Hospital where there are hundreds of foreign journalists waiting there. What happens if the baby isn't born there? They're going to look a bit silly. Yes, and I think they're already getting a little bit paranoid about the fact that there's a possibility that Kate will go to another hospital to have the baby. Um, she's believed to be staying with her mother, Carol, um, and the hospital nearby is about 65 kilometres away from the wing, the Linda wing, where all of the media uh, are set up at the moment. So you've got like hundreds of step ladders where people are going to be trying to climb up to take photographs of, uh, you know, the announcement once it's made. Um, huge media presence. Okay, listen, just finally, very briefly, have you met anybody who's talked about the baby with you? Because I haven't met a single person who's mentioned the baby to me. It seems to be abroad, they're getting excited. We're just waiting. I think you're right. And I think when we're here, we're, oh, we're so close to it that perhaps we don't see it in the same set of eyes. Uh, other parts of the world are definitely fascinated <laughs> by it. Absolutely. We'll be reporting it. Thanks, Anne-Marie.